Did you know only 2% of our global electricity is generated from solar power? A source of energy that is so abundant that right now the huge fusion reactor, our sun, is irradiating so much power that it can be used by our whole human civilization for a year. So why aren't we already harnessing more of this abundant renewable energy source? Currently, only a minority percent of electricity is generated from renewable sources like solar, hydropower, biomass, wind, and geothermal, while the rest comes from fossil fuels like coal, natural gas, and petroleum. So why do humans prefer to extract energy from fossil fuels instead of solar energy? In today's video, we will look at a breakthrough material for solar technology that could change everything. Stay tuned to find out. Welcome to our channel Futured. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so that you never miss a new video from us. Generating electricity from solar power has many drawbacks, but they can now be overcome by this new solar 3.0 technology which could change everything. The challenge with solar energy has been high cost, weather dependency, and the fact that solar energy storage is expensive. This is because crystalline silicon-based solar panels is complex to manufacturing, which also causes pollution along with less efficiency. Despite solar energy being abundantly available, it was not a preferred way of creating energy because of its drawbacks. For example, even the most advanced solar panels still only convert around 20 to 25 percent of the sun's energy into power. And although solar panels produce clean renewable energy, the process it takes to manufacture them can harm the environment. Mass production of solar panels may result in fossil fuels being burned and plastic waste. It's pretty ironic, right? Well, that's what scientists are trying to solve right now. And now, they have created a new material that is lighter, more efficient, and can be produced at a lower cost? Did you know that you just need 100 miles by 100 miles of solar panels to power the entire United States? Unable to imagine the size of the area that is required? Well, to make it simple, it's just a small corner of Nevada or Utah. Guess what? Scientists have found a solution for the drawbacks caused by the crystalline, silicon-based solar panels. No more stinginess in spending the energy, we can now enjoy the abundant energy provided to us by the sun for free. This solution comes in the form of the holy grail of solar technology called perovskites. Not only is it lighter, but also more efficient and easier to manufacture at a lower cost. It is an inexpensive solution that can manufacture a photovoltaic cell so thin that just a half a cup of the solution is enough to power a whole house. And do you know how light it is? It's so light, it can even balance on a bubble. Thanks to the Swift Solar Team in the Silicon Valley who are responsible for discovering this holy grail that is going to enlighten the whole world through its power. We mean literally. Joel Jean, the CEO of Swift Solar, confirms that this thin film technology effectively absorbs light and transports the charge. As many of you might be aware, solar cell technology can be classified into two categories, wafer-based and thin film cells. While the wafer-based are usually fabricated on semiconductor and are protected by glass, and the thin film cells are made by depositing thin layers of semiconducting films onto glass, plastic, or metal substrate. The bulky wafer-based solar panels are the one you will usually find on rooftops. Did you know that the thin film's cells will use 10 to 1,000 times less material than the typical crystalline silicon cells? These thin films can be manufactured from amorphous silicon or more complex materials like cadmium telluride. However, these films have lower efficiencies. So scientists have always been researching to find ways to enhance the efficiency of these thin films. That is where the breakthrough material, perovskites, comes in. This material is rapidly becoming the leading in the emerging thin films category and will change the solar energy industry. So what can we do with such high-performance solar panels made from perovskites? This material can even be used in solar paint that can absorb sunlight and convert it into electricity. Imagine painting it on skyscrapers. There will be an abundant supply of solar energy just from them. Not just that, we can utilize these lightweight solar panels to diverse applications where the heaviness and the rigidity were the problem, for instance in airplanes. And how can we ever forget about its unlimited use in electric vehicles? No wonder Elon Musk has always been pro-solar power. Let us dig deeper into the perovskites and understand how the magic happens. Initially, calcium titanium oxide is the natural source for the perovskites crystals. However, later it was found that any crystal structure with ABX3 is enough to create perovskites. 
Here, A and B are two positively charged ions of different sizes, while X is the negatively charged ion that keeps them together. One of the other main advantages is that the material needed for perovskites doesn't have to be mined. Instead, we can use basic halide salts like lead iodide or some other organic salts. Thus, we can create the inorganic-organic hybrid perovskites. Since these thin films are like multi-crystalline, they can make up for really good semiconductors. Now let us do a comparative study between traditional solar panels and the ones with perovskites. Even if you consider the best typical solar panel, you would find them with just only 20% efficiency. However, if you consider the single solar cell limit, then it is 33% and the perovskites have been found to have even higher efficiencies than predicted. Hence, perovskites convert more than 40% of the sun's energy into electricity rather than wasting the rest in the form of heat like other silicon semiconductors. As you can see, perovskites is full of advantages and also need much less material, as it only needs 1% compared to a silicon cell. So the manufacturing is not only cheaper, but also the process is easier, as generally it takes about 1400 degrees Celsius to crystallize silicone but here you can do it at just about 100 degrees. Thus, smaller pieces of equipment and standard chemical processes can be used along with the usage of cheap materials like plastic to form these cells. Yes, now they can also use material that would otherwise have melted, like plastic for the solar cells despite. So, it's cheaper, lightweight, and flexible too. However, we do have lots of engineering work to be done to produce these perovskites to perfection. For instance, all the conventional solar panels are used in commercial and residential rooftops, and solar panels have even been in the desert for more than a decade. Perovskites are still in the initial stage of development, so it would take a bit more of our time to reach its commercial usage. Since it has just been discovered, it still needs to be tested and prove how durable it is in the long run. Similarly, drones used at high altitudes, solar wristwatches, and small IoT Internet of Things devices all of these can benefit from the use of perovskites. And who knows later, perovskites would be ready to be installed on the rooftop of every house in the world. Before we achieve 24-7 free energy resource availability, we need to overcome the major hurdle that is stability. Yes, these cells have to survive high temperatures, rain, and all other environmental and external factors. After that, it is the golden rule for fulfilling the international standards for any solar cells surviving the external degradation for 25 years at least. Apart from the golden rule is the stimulation of hailstones testing and heating up to extremely high temperatures. Isn't that the case in reality for any solar panel cell? But don't worry, as this testing is not restricted to a single research team, as many are eager to utilize this new breakthrough material. So they are all putting their heads together to improve the efficiency and the stability. All that we are waiting for is the testing to be completed and the arrival of the mass market commercialization. When it does come into play, you can will be able to buy the new solar panels at 15 times less per watt than the traditional solar panels. Just imagine a world with cheap and abundant solar power. Such a world can achieve a million times more in the field of science and technology, as electricity plays a vital role in all. Where the current photovoltaic techniques have failed, the perovskites would succeed. From non-stop electric automobiles to flying aircraft to speedboats, every trip can be enjoyed with the cheapest energy instead of paying up for non-renewable fossil fuels. Most probably by the time perovskites come into play, fossil fuels would have disappeared from the face of the earth. What do you think of living in a world with abundant energy resources? Do you think perovskites could achieve the stability and efficiency that has not been achieved by any new existing solar panels? Let us know down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video from us. Thank you for watching.